Well, good evening, YouTube. Um, this is a bit of a different video. It's, uh, it is a car video, but it's a car audio video. Um, went out today and picked up a A-Track cartridge player um, off Facebook Marketplace. And it is actually brand new in the box. Well, 50 years old, brand new in the box. So I guess that uh, classifies as brand new in the box. So we're going to be doing a unboxing video i don't know if i like to call it that but um and then an installation of the whole system and uh, i'll show you what i've got before we unbox the uh the a-track cartridge player i've got a set of uh pioneer speakers there they are um i had them from um, for a number of years yeah ts x9 speakers pioneer they're from about 1971 and so is the uh head deck the a, a track cartridge so um i will be installing these into um my 1967 mini deluxe i want to try and have it looking like it's stepped out of a time machine from about 1971 or two so a couple of years after it's um been built and everything in it i want to have period correct so this video will be unboxing and also having a look and uh, installing. All right, well, first thing up, we've got the old school string, which I really think is quite cool. Um, but I don't do that anymore, but I think that's pretty, pretty cool. And we have inside a piece of foam, top piece of foam. And here we go with the head deck. I might just leave that for the minute. And we've got the cable loom um, and fuse, fuse holder. And I can tell you that the smell, I can smell that old electronic smell. For those that know who, that knows that know what it smells like, I definitely can smell that old electronic smell. So there we go. In the bag, we've got the head deck itself. Oh, and by the looks of it, mounting screws and nuts and washers um, and some descant, don't eat that stuff. Not very tasty, but there we go. Wow, look at that, hey? Looks very, very shiny. Um, we've got our disconnected loom. Very, very new considering its age. The person who I bought it off said it was never ever taken out of the packet. It was bought and never used and never taken out of the box. And um, definitely looks like uh, that's true. Now for those that don't know what an A-Track cartridge is, or A-Track tape, it's the tapes we had before the audio tapes. And for those younger viewers that don't even know what an audio tape is, it's pre-iPod. Um, and I'll show you some of the tapes a bit later. But this also has an AM radio as well. Um, no presets or auto tune. Uh, sorry, manual tune. Uh, what else have we got in the box? We have the bottom piece of foam. We've got the original um, instruction manual. And I will be using the instruction manual on installation just so that we are following exactly the manufacturer's um instructions and i'll be going through that a little bit later when we when we get up to installation so there's the specifications and this is a mauritius model stock number 5262 and the brand is kingcraft I don't know what sort of uh, brand that was or if it was popular or if it was a good one or a cheap one. If anybody knows, you could leave a comment and, uh, and let me know anything about the history of it. I tried to research it and I will be posting some um, advertising of some A-Track cartridges, A-Track cartridge players, but not um, this particular model. Uh, it's got the back strap and there's two of the side mount brackets 
So yes, we'll be definitely looking at that a little bit more. I will add those advertising um, images in a second in the video. Well, there we go. There's all the bits and pieces for my uh, car audio setup, minus the wiring, obviously. Um, I just have those speakers there, and I was doing a bit of research today and having a look at prices. Um, and these Pioneer speakers are going for crazy prices on, on eBay. Um, people are trying to get $700 Australian, about $560 US for a set of these speakers. Um, I did see somebody else was selling them for about $500 Oz, um, which was one of the cheapest. So yeah, pretty amazing how much money they go for. They are good quality speakers, but I wouldn't have expected them to be, um, to be getting that much money. And I do realise that people can ask whatever they want. It doesn't mean they're actually going to get it. But um, yeah, to be asking those prices, amazing. Anyway, um, as you can see, I've got my Henry Mancini uh, tape. So once I get driving, I can get my Mancini on. Um, and for those that don't know what a, a eight track cartridge looks like, it's a deck, uh, sorry, it's a, a tape, um, magnetic tape. And the cartridge is actually quite large. And the way it works is you can see it has four channels there, uh, each with about three songs. And um, I don't know 100%, but I think what you can do is you can change what channel you listen to by hitting that select button and we will check that out a little bit more after we've installed it hopefully it'll work nicely um, but for those that want to see what size this is this is my iPhone case and it's pretty much bigger than an iPhone um, so yeah you wouldn't want to have too many of those in your glove box they'd be definitely taking up a lot of space but um, if you like your tunes that's what you've got, and uh, it's either that or the AM radio, which, you know, you can get some great tunes on AM nowadays. But anyway, there we go. Um, that's our unboxing, and um, I will be posting the, um, the ads for the stuff that I saw online today. Just, just have a little bit of a nostalgic look back, um, and we'll be moving into installation. Installing the 8-track cartridge player in the Mini. Here's the tools that I'll hopefully be using today. I've probably forgotten some, but um, soldering iron, solder, wire, heat shrink, heat gun, uh, drills, um, and the crimping and lugs. And hopefully that's going to be it. Um, we'll see. There's usually something I've forgotten. First thing I'm going to do is mock up the speakers and where they're going to go on the back parcel tray. Um, I've made a bit of a template of roughly where that mounting hole is um, and that'll just give me a, an idea of where I'm going to be mounting that on the back of the parcel tray. All right well being that we're in a mini um, there's not a lot of real estate on the back parcel tray as you can see um, that's pretty much the only place that I could put them where they're going to look okay. Um, they do take up a bit of space. can still see out the back window though, so that's good. And um, I'll be mocking those up with the template in a second. All right, so there's the template in position. It's pretty close. And it doesn't have to be perfect millimeter by millimeter. I'm gonna mark the spot. And hopefully in a second, I'll be able to get the drill in there. Not a lot of clearance to the window but I'm going to be doing that for both sides. All right, holes are done. Um, back window is still intact, which is great. Um, I won't be putting the speakers in until the very end, actually screwing them in, but um, as you can see, I don't have a back parcel tray cover yet uh, upholstery. That's something that's coming. So I won't be screwing them in permanently. I'll just have them in tentatively. I'm not really using the car, so it's not going to like they're going to fly and hit me in the back of the head if I do a sudden stop. Um, Alright, here we go, next, next section. 
Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this, but all I'm doing is I've stripped the cables uh, for the speakers and I'm just going to be putting in um, some connectors to connect to the, um, the speakers. Don't know if you saw that there, but I didn't have my own strength. I actually just crimped straight through the cable and these guys just tore off, so I had to restrip them. All right, here we go for the next bit. All right, cables are just run tentatively at the back there on the parcel shelf and uh, behind the seat cushion, I'm going to feed them down behind the back seat and then under the, uh, the bottom part of the seat. Then I'm gonna drill a hole just here and then run them under the carpet and back up to the head deck. Um, that part's pretty easy. So I just got on to doing that. Um, under dash installation attach mounting brackets, these guys, to the receiver with screws supplied and tighten them securely figure one. In figure one, it's got uh, the mounting brackets looking like that. Um, and it says using hex bolt and washers. So I'll get on to doing that now and I'll do it in fast motion. Well, that took longer than I wanted to. I felt like I was all thumbs with these little screws. But yeah, I've lined it up and I'm um, going to mock it up under the dash and then mark uh, where it's going to go so I can drill those holes. Well, I went to mock up. I had a look underneath the dash here. And the really cool thing is that there was already some pre-existing holes um, already in place. So... I can't see that other one but obviously someone in the past has um had a radio in this position and the cool thing is it's a little bit offset sorry about the bad camera work there not that you can if you can see it it's a little bit offset and pointing to the driver slightly which i think is quite cool so i will be using those two holes i'm going to drill two more so that it's a little bit more secure and obviously something for the back strap. There's going to be a lot of mechanical force pushing in these these tapes um, in and out. So I want to make sure that um, it's it's strong enough to do that. And I am going to mount it a little bit higher up um, so your legs don't kick it as people are getting in. Anyway, there you go. Okay, having a look at the diagram, um, it says here Connect the red wire to the car's fuse box only. Do not connect the red wire to ignition switch. This will have the effect of turning off the power to the tape player without disengaging the cartridge. 
the cartridge should be removed when unit is not in operation otherwise this could result in damage to the player or the cartridge since the rubber pinch roller may develop a flat spot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, wire the player to the horn on the fuse uh, it's got 12 volts uh, constant um, and that way I can also play the music whilst I'm working on the car hopefully not flattening the battery um, I will be putting a bit of an extension on the red wire so I can run it through the firewall I won't film that um, but I will film the next section okay well there's the positive wire hooked up to the fuse box and I've just run the fuse uh, the wire behind the sound deadening and behind the spray bottle which I'll put back and down behind the um, where the heater hoses go. So for those that don't know minis, yeah, the windscreen washer bottle is literally just a plastic bottle. All right, to the inside of the car for wiring. Okay, well, I've done a little bit of wiring. I'm doing the negative at the moment, and it says that connect the black wire to the underside of the dash to the chassis. So it gets a negative ground. Um, one thing that these older um, machines do or have is um, a negative chassis to the speakers as well. Um, so the speaker wire and the newer radios hooks up to um, a, a wire on the back of the unit, whereas these don't. These are going to the chassis of the car, the negative. So they've got a common negative. So I'll just show you what that looks like here. I have done my wiring and everything goes down to a common uh, negative there. Um, there's the rest of the loom. So hopefully I've wired it up right. We'll see. I'm going to hook this to the chassis somewhere on a screw that's grounded. And um, we'll hook up the speakers and we'll give it a run and see what happens. Okay, so we're plugged in. Um, let's see what happens. Looks like we have a light. See that light there? Let's have a check. Yep, so we've got power. Ooh. Which really supports 124 help the business. Got radio. The voice is kind of that in. Really talk about failure that All much. Right. Um, the wonders of AM radio. Let's try the A-Track cartridge and see how we go with that. Oh, sounded like we had something. Oh yes, we've got music. Fantastic. Don't want to get uh, copyrighted, but you can hear that that works. So that's really, really good. Um, we have music, like radio, and you push this in. Great. Oh, that's so exciting. All right. Well, that is one step forward to my period correct mini. Um, yeah fantastic thanks for coming along for the ride well that took a lot longer than i'd wanted it to um i have the mini uh at least musicked up now and ready to hear some tunes but uh yeah it took way longer than i wanted it to um i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please subscribe and at least like and i'll see you next week thanks a lot